to other parameters in her body, and once we figured out what to do, uh, she's been doing very well for, I don't know, 15 or more years at this point uh, with simple modification of her lifestyle, but most importantly, specific nutrient intake and uh, and other things. So she's done very well with absolutely no uh, conventional treatment at all for this leukemia. Conventional treatment would have put her underneath the grass. Uh, she's been on, on this side of the grass for many years because of it. Okay, Jonathan, who is this person? Yeah, uh, I am so grateful to Dr. Simone, and I, let me add to this story that uh, she was in a treatment group that gave the conventional chemotherapy approach to her condition, which is chronic lymphocytic leukemia. And uh, if she had followed that approach, the prediction of the doctors would have come true. They told her that you will not live beyond five years. And when was that? That was <laughs> over 25 years ago, and she's still alive. She was, I can't recall, Dr. Simone will probably know her age. He can't mention that it's her, but I can. And now that the cat's out of the bag, I think he's stuck with it. Uh, but uh, she was, I think, in her late 50s when she contracted um, or was diagnosed with chronic lymphocytic leukemia. And she was given five years to live. She's now 83 years old. And the difference is that uh, everyone in her treatment group died within five years who took the conventional approach to treatment. My mother followed Dr. Simone's regimen using uh, antioxidant vitamins and minerals and uh, also depending upon a change in diet and lifestyle. And the effect of that is profound. She is fully ambulatory. She's extremely bright. She doesn't suffer from excessive fatigue. She's 83 years old. She's lived a full life. And she and Dr. Simone, I'm making him keep her alive for another several, several thousand years. Yeah. But he, he, uh, he has done an extraordinary job. OK, we have a qu question coming here from the audience. But first, I want to say what I told Dr. Simone on the phone. We were talking the other day. I said, we had Dr. Uh, Colin Campbell on here who wrote the China study. And so those of you who watch our website, go back and look at those two programs on eating right and all that. And he said, there are three problems with America's health care, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So keep that in mind. Yes, sir. <laughs> Mr. E. Moore, you challenged the FDA. You won. You're an attorney. I'm not. I'm just a consumer, a citizen. What would you say or what will you say? two or three things that we can do as citizens to make, this cha make a change for all this? Great question. Solutions. Thank you very much. Well, there are solutions out there, and there are more solutions on the way. Uh, there's a bill that I wrote for Congressman Ron Paul that's called the Congressional Responsibility and Accountability Act. It's a simple solution to a very complex problem. We've talked about how since 1935, Congress has repeatedly delegated power to the agencies, giving them governing power. And we talked, I didn't mention this, but before 1935, the Supreme Court held uh, those actions unconstitutional. Well, the, the, a central factor in this is who possesses the power to govern. And this bill that I wrote would take your elected representatives and make them be responsible and accountable for the regulations, such that no regulation could be promulgated and implemented but could only be proposed until such time as Congress voted in favor of it and the President signed it into law, ensuring that the responsibility came back to your elected representatives, ensuring that your voice of criticism would reach your elected representative and you would know, vote that sucker out of office if he doesn't support this. Presently, you have no representation in this system. You have a bureaucracy that is unelected creating the laws that govern the United States, and in this case, your health. And you have no say in that. It's so outrageous. That, so that's one thing we can do. Understand the situation, support something like that. Anything else you want to suggest? Yes. We're, well, we're, we're, I'm presently writing a newsletter for this uh, organization that published the book. And we're rallying people around specific initiatives and asking them to take uh, those initiatives on and we will help uh, draft additional legislation. But also, there is a need to fight the government on this. And there is a need to have your voice heard by the administrator, by the HHS secretary who's now in place, Tom Daschle, by the president, to let them know that you have a right to receive truthful health information, regardless of whether it concerns a treatment effect of a nutrient. You know, right now, 
The courts have upheld the FDA's change in position since those cases I won, in which the courts have said that if a nutrient treats a disease, you, the American public, can be denied that information through censorship by the FDA unless the company goes through this drug approval process. Truth be told, no one in the world can afford $860 million to get a single agent approved, particularly if it's not patentable. A lot of these natural elements in foods are not patentable. And so therein lies the problem. The, the, there has to be a drug to make a lot of money. It takes a lot of money. It's an interesting process. Now, Dr. Simone, I appreciate your joining us. Jonathan, I appreciate your joining us as well. I wanted to get into the Schechter case where there's Stitch in Time Save Nine. And Hatton Summers, who's one of our sponsors, was the guy who kept Roosevelt from packing the Supreme Court in spite of the fact that that was his lifelong goal was to be on the Supreme Court. He did not get on the Supreme Court because of his work in keeping Roosevelt from packing the Supreme Court in the 1930s. Well, as you've seen, we've not painted a pretty picture. I'm sure that FDA and the drug companies could have added a lot on the other side, but we'll never know as they were too busy probably doing lots more objective medical research. Thanks for allowing us into your home to talk about things that matter with people who care. A video or DVD of this program is available for $20, plus $5 postage and handling, and in Texas, applicable tax. Visit the McQuistian website at frtv.org, or call us at 214-442-1600 for upcoming programs. of McQuistion is made possible in part by individual viewers, supporters of the Foundation for Responsible Television, the Hatton W. Sumner's Foundation for the Study of Teaching and Self-Government, Hillcrest Foundation, founded by Mrs. W. W. Carruth, and Collin County Business Press, locally relevant, personally profitable.